Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Logan Daniel, and I'm fucking pissed. So, fun fact. Um, I got dealt a shit hand uh, via my genetics, right? And um, I imagine that I this will continue to happen throughout my life. Uh, which is really fucking stupid because the thing that will continue to happen is kidney stones. Uh, this video is not about kidney stones. It is about some um, real fucking real bullshit, though. So if we take a look right here, just let that focus in on a bit, you will see... The total amount of money that I would have had to pay if it weren't for my insurance. So, I'm better off than people who aren't with insurance. Uh, but what I will tell you is that doesn't leave me very well off regardless. Because I still owe... That much money! Yay! Fuck the US! Fuck the healthcare system! It's not a healthcare system! It's like, it's robbery! It's robbery, and you're like literally like robbing those with the least, right? Because I can't afford this. Not on my sub 20k, you know. A year. It's just not sustainable. This is not sustainable. And I don't think anybody within the right minds thinks it's sustainable. And if you want to know more about the healthcare system in the US and, and how we can fix it and how fucked up it is, like this is not the video for that. This is more just me ranting and raving. I already have, I already have a bill from fucking Wyoming for the same goddamn shit. For the same goddamn shit. Let's just think about how much debt I'm in at this point. With that. And with uh, my other bill. And then with my student debt. So my student debt's a little over 38k. That's a lot. I don't know. I would like to pay that back eventually. I'd like to not be in debt. Uh, and so the goal is to pay that back eventually. Hopefully sooner than later. Uh, but I'm not making enough to make a dent in it, especially not when I have these other bills uh, stacking up. It's just, how does this happen? How does this happen? I've seen a few theories, not theories. I've seen, I've seen some of the, the reasons why in the U S we get so fucked when it comes to insurance, when it comes to healthcare. And I don't, I don't want to bash on the people at the hospital the, the doctors and the radiologists and, and whoever is helping me, uh, they were so cordial and they were so kind. Uh, and it wasn't even like a bad thing. It was more like, oh, wow, uh, this feels like a kidney stone. Uh, and I should probably go to the, the ER because that's what you do when you have you have a kidney stone. At least that's what I thought you should do. At least that's what people should do. But they won't a lot of the time because, well... They don't want this! And if you don't have insurance, this is even fucking worse! This is a fucking joke! This is the biggest fucking- This is real fucking funny! This is real fucking funny! I'm fucking laughing, laughing my ass off. This is real fucking funny. Wow. Fantastic. So. I don't really have a point for this video, I just wanted to fucking complain. I wanted to complain about how I, I feel like it's important to share your stories, right? Uh, and that includes uh, your stories about how how much bullshit the healthcare system in the U.S. is, and how much it is in dire need of changing. And and it's no wonder, it's no wonder that single payer healthcare is just Every, the vast, the, the overwhelming majority of people in the U.S. want single-payer health care. The overwhelming majority. And, and I can't wait. 
Uh, but it has to come with some debt relief as well. It has to come with some debt relief. Thankfully, I have a stream of income. Thankfully, I can make payment plans. I'm not going to go into debt. Well, I am, I'm already in debt. Sorry. Uh, I'm not going to default. I'm not going to get screwed too badly uh, by this. And uh, chances are I'll probably qualify for some financial aid. Uh, and that will definitely lighten the load of that bill. But I can't keep doing this. I can't, I can't keep fearing the ER and fearing the hospital and fearing the doctor and fearing important procedures just because I can't pay for them. And there are a lot of people who are in a much worse position than I am. So this is a cautionary tale. Don't get kidney stones. Uh, also, don't don't hesitate to go to the ER, even if it's even even if you're afraid of the money, because chances are once you're in debt, you can't go into more. I mean, you can just get more debt and then it doesn't it does you get there's a certain point where you just owe so much money and not because you did anything necessarily. You just owe so much money that it doesn't even matter anymore. I don't even think about it. Right. I just, I do the best that I can with what I got. Uh, and then I, um, I think we'll find a way out of this, but it couldn't come any sooner. So if you want to know what I'm doing else outside of fucking dealing with kidney stones, uh, anything that I do is in the description below. I do podcasts. And I'm, I'm hoping that some of this eventually turns around, maybe in a few years, that maybe in a few years, if I, if I work hard enough, I'll be able to make money outside of um, having to have a day job. And um, uh, I'm sick. I'm sick and tired of owing money. And I'm sick and tired of not making enough money. So I'm going to continue to chase after it and I'm going to get it. And one day I won't owe a fuck ton of money. And one day we'll fix the healthcare system. But for now, we keep laughing. This has been Logan Daniel. Thank you so much.